G'day guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel and we're finally back on the coast. As promised in the last video, we shot over to Reefton. Um, it's Thursday night of the Easter weekend and we are going to go hit Petrol Hill for a wee night mish. It's a bit past 8 o'clock now. We've got a stack of trucks. Um, we'll show you all the trucks in the daylight. Um, but obviously we've got Lando and then over there we've got Lockie. Um, you guys know Lockie from the channel and his truck has had a stack of work done to it. Um, which we'll have a look at in the daylight, but it's going to be awesome. A couple more trucks you'll recognise, a couple new ones. Can't wait to get into it, so uh, let's hit the track.
as well, we've just been uh, making our way up the creek. Behind me we've got the mud holes, hopefully shouldn't be too much of an issue. Um, they seem to have gotten easier with time, so we'll send the trucks on through and then uh, it's the head up to the uh, petrol hill itself. It's going to be good.
Hi, mate. Side cutters. What's that? Awesome. Oh well, well Lockie plays with that. Yeah, you want to tell us what you've done, Shane? What? <laughs> <laughs> I fitted a Turkish fan and it spit out on us. That's what's happened. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so the, uh, the fans died in the Jeep, which means the uh, motor's getting a wee bit hot. So we're just trying to work out what we can do about it. guys well uh, been a bit of a mission unfortunately Shane in the Jeep um, he's lost his electric fan so that's a bit of a problem anyway we're at the bottom of the petrol of petrol hill itself now just to climb up to it so we'll wander up um, set a winch extension up and everything so that we can uh, winch up the hill <laughs> You have a nice trip, Flynn? I think your chin just about ate that bar. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> I don't even know what I hope it is. 
I guess I hope it's an axle because that's got a warranty on it. Better than the locker, but far out. Morning. What's going on here then? Oh uh, well, good old Jack. I got off that. What's the boy? Last night, as oh, you guys boy. saw, there we uh, we mishap, and it would appear that one of the front shafts is broken. So just pull everything out and see what actually let go, and uh, we'll go from there. Oh, we've got the water lubricated bearings. Mother. Uh oh. It is in the dip. Well, far out. <sighs> Good one. At least it's not my, my. No, this is not me this time. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> That's a bugger. What an absolute stitch up. He seats. Yeah, more money, and yeah, that's probably Lando done for the weekend. Now just to decide what we do from here, but what a stitch up. I'm a bit, bit gutted. Well, as you can see, we're now back home. Um, I just wanted to quickly wrap up the video here, um, but before I do, I just wanted to talk about what actually went on with the front axle, because um, yeah, it was a bit of a stitch up, but um, at the same time, these things happen. So, um, firstly, the track was awesome, Petrol Hill. Um, I hadn't done it for about a year, and um, not long ago, they had a lot of rain over on the coast, and it cut a whole lot of uh, new washouts and things um, in the track. We saw us picking up wheels and things like that. Um, none of that used to be there, so it's really cool. A um, few new obstacles on the track. Unfortunately, didn't get away Scott for our did manage to put another wee, uh, another wee mark in uh, old Lando, so these rear quarters are getting absolutely, uh, absolutely smoked, but that's all good. These things happen, part of it, I guess. Um, but yeah, what happened with the front axle? Um, obviously, I was kind of pushing a little bit going up Petrol Hill. Um, no, I didn't think I was going to drive it. It was cold and wet. Um, like the 
the slab itself. Um, very wet and greasy. Um, I don't have sticky tyres, I don't have long enough wheelbase. I'm never really going to drive it in Lando, however, I was like, I'll have just a wee nosy, see how far up I'll get. Um, picked up the front two wheels as usual, came down with the power still on a little bit. Should never cause a problem. Um, like, landing with the power on in general is a terrible idea, um, but Petrol Hill, it's so slick, um, it's so steep, all the loads over on the back wheels anyway. Um, the amount of shock loading that comes through the front end is very, very minimal and, you know, shouldn't ever break anything um, with the setup that I've got of chrome ollies, heavy duty gears and a locker. So what actually let go, we thought it was the uh, chrome ollie CV at the time because um, it was just one side let go, but um, obviously we then pulled the CV out and found that, um, you know, the CV and axle shaft was just fine um, and it turns out something in the lockers let go. So. Um, definitely unfortunate because the lock is uh, old and doesn't have a warranty um, and also probably more expensive um, but hey it is what it is um, to be honest the locker owes me absolutely nothing I bought it oh, two and a half years ago now probably um, off an ex-comp truck and it had been competing like for 10 years or more um, like the the front axle's taken an absolute huge amount of a hiding and um, yeah I also got it really cheap it was like a third of the price of a new one and it came with the gears um, 4.1 gears so really can't complain it owes me nothing it was just a shame that it let go on the uh, first track of the weekend um, to be honest I was just bummed that I wasn't going to be driving the rest of the trip it is a pain in the fact the lock is broken um, but you know it is what it is just sucked that we didn't get a drive um, yes if I hadn't pushed as hard on petrol hill probably would have held up although it's interesting watching the video back. Everyone thought that it let go when the tyres initially came back down on the um, on the rock face itself. But the tyres kept spinning for a good another oh, couple rotations. And then as I got on the brakes, that's when you heard the big pop or the big crack. So um, it actually let go, um, not when we uh, initially thought it was. So I have no idea what really caused it. I'd say it's just completely worn out. Um, I was able to turn the CV over by hand and I felt like a little bit of binding and skipping. So I'm guessing there's some like uh, one of the engaging collars or something like that is a little bit rounded over um, the teeth and it's just not holding power. So that's my guess. We'll pull it all apart in a future video to uh, have a look and see if we can work it out and uh, get it fixed because obviously it'd be good to have it fixed. I've actually got a new axle and um, locker to go in Lando but it'd be good to get this one fixed up so I've got a spare. Um, Anyway, that's pretty much it. I think that covered everything I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, the good news is the worst spare seats in other trucks. So the other four days of wheeling that we've got coming up, um, I got to go along on and film, and Matt also found a seat with Flynn. And uh, yeah, we didn't end up going over to the Reefton just to do one track. So that's all good. Anyway, um, to stay tuned for all that and everything else we've got coming, hit subscribe. Um, give us a like if you enjoyed today's video. A bit different being all night run, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. We'll catch you all in the next one. Cheers for watching, guys. We'll see you then. Hey, right. Oh, you're right. You're oh,